हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड पल्स पोजिशन मॉड्यूलेशन व्हिच इज पीपीएम हियर वी विल अंडरस्टैंड जनरेशन एंड डिटेक्शन ऑफ पल्स पोजिशन मॉड्यूलेशन सिग्नल फर्स्ट लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड द जनरेशन ऑफ पीपीएम सिग्नल this is the block diagram that is used for generation of ppm signal it consists of a comparator clamping circuit and mono stable circuit with two inputs first one is modulating signal and second one is sawtooth signal that is generated from sawtooth generator the comparator compares modulating signal with the carrier signal which is sawtooth signal and it will produce the output depending upon message signal and carrier signal if message signal is greater than carrier signal it will produce positive voltage and if message signal is less than carrier signal it will produce the negative voltage so as you can observe in this waveform we are having both carrier signal which is sawtooth signal as well as the message signal which is a sinusoidal signal here if this message signal is greater than the carrier signal at that case it will produce the positive voltage and if this message signal is less than the carrier signal at that case it will produce the negative voltage so it will produce positive voltage for message signal greater than carrier signal and it will produce negative voltage for message signal less than carrier signal so this process will continue if the message signal is more than carrier signal it will produce positive signal if message signal is less than carrier signal it will produce the negative signal now the function of clamping circuit is to clamp the output of the comparator from positive to zero which means it will shift this waveform towards positive side and it will produce the output which will be positive for m of t greater than c of t and it will produce the output zero for m of t less than c of t so clamping circuit shift this waveform which is obtained from the comparator towards positive side so that we can get the output as positive and zero for the conditions respectively so this is the output of comparator where we are having output as positive and zero the output of clamping circuit is a pulse width modulation signal so whatever output we obtained from the clamping circuit is pulse width modulation signal as you can observe here so this is the width of the pulse again as you can see this is the width of the pulse so comparing this width of the pulse as you can see we are having less width for the pulse here and here we are having more width for the pulse which means width of the pulse is varying so the output of clamping circuit is pulse width modulation signal so mono stable circuit will produce the pulse of fixed duration so it will produce the pulse of fixed duration that's why the output of mono stable circuit is ppm signal so as you can observe here so it will produce the pulse of fixed duration now this pulse will always appear at the falling edge of the pulse width modulation signal so at this falling edge we are having the pulse of fixed duration again at the falling edge of this pulse we are having the pulse of fixed duration again at each falling edge of the pulse we are having the pulse of fixed duration so here as you can see width of the pulse will remain constant so the position of the pulse is varied so the output signal is known as pulse position modulation now let us understand the detection of uh, ppm signal so from this pulse position modulated signal we need to obtain the message signal 
so this is the block diagram of detection of ppm signal so here we are having pulse generator and reference pulse generator along with rs flip flop output of rs flip flop is applied to pwm demodulator that will produce the message signal here since the ppm signal is transmitted for a longer distance this signal will be corrupted so this corrupted ppm signal is applied to pulse generator that will produce the clean ppm signal also the reference pulse generator output is produced with reference with the ppm pulse the output of pulse generator as well as reference pulse generator is given as input to the rs flip flop here the rs flip flop will produce output depending upon the pulse generator and reference pulse generator signals so if it receives input from pulse generator the rs flip flop will reset the output if the flip flop receives input from reference pulse generator output of flip flop will be set so if the input is from pulse generator output of flip flop will reset and if the input is from reference pulse generator the output of flip flop will set so output of flip flop will be pulse width modulated signal so this signal will be demodulated to obtain the message signal so here we are having pulse position modulated signal and we are having the reference pulse that will be at fixed duration so duration of this reference pulse will be fixed so now wherever we are getting the reference pulse the output will be set and when we are having ppm signal the output will reset so set which means it will go to positive voltage and reset which means it will go back to zero voltage or zero reference line so as you can see at this reference pulse the signal is positive and at this ppm signal the signal went back to zero so it will remain zero until the next reference pulse is received and at this reference pulse as you can see the signal went to positive half again it will move to zero once we have the ppm signal and it will remain across zero until it receives the next reference pulse at that reference pulse the signal is set and it will remain set until the ppm signal is there so once the ppm signal is present the output will move back to zero and it will remain zero until the next reference pulse so this process will continue and will obtain the pulse width modulated signal so this pulse width modulated signal will be demodulated to obtain the message signal so this is about pulse position modulated signal hope you have understood the topic thank you